What's going on guys, it's your boy Boxing Facts or Fiction. I need you to do me a favor, hit that like button, hit that subscribe button, hit that notification icon for more videos like this. Thank you for your donations, every dollar counts. I appreciate the ones that donate and the ones that can't donate right now. I know you're going to donate in the future, so thank you for your support and thank you for the views. Thank you for the likes, thank you for the shares. But with that being said, let me get into this video. Anthony Joshua. Anthony Joshua, Deontay Wilder, and Tyson Fury. Anthony Joshua needs to show up to Deontay Wilder versus Tyson Fury and call out Deontay Wilder instead of hiding behind Eddie Hearn to make the fight happen. I see a lot of fighters doing that nowadays, hiding behind their promoters and saying, call my promoter and let's make the fight. No, no. You, Anthony Joshua needs to do what Sean Porter did to get the Danny Garcia fight. Anthony Joshua needs to do what, what Keith Thurman did to get the Danny Garcia fight. Anthony Joshua needs to do what Deontay Wilder did to get the Tyson Fury fight. That would show up in the ring. We remember one time, if you guys forget already, I don't forget these situations, man. I pay attention because I love boxing. But if you don't remember, I'll refresh your memory. If you don't remember, Deontay Wilder wanted to make an appearance at Anthony Joshua versus Joseph Parker fight. And Anthony Joshua called, said he was going to call the cops if Deontay Wilder showed up and uh, stepped in the ring like he did versus Tyson Fury. Tyson Fury didn't call the cops. Tyson Fury embraced that smoke because Tyson Fury wanted all the smoke from Deontay Wilder. So he invited him. I actually just seen an article by the WBC president saying uh, Anthony Joshua versus Deontay Wilder should be next. The WBC is trying to order fights. Um, they're getting to the point where we're not going to be taking them seriously if they continue to do what they're doing. Um, how can they order that fight next? How high is Anthony Joshua even ranked with the WBC? How can they order Anthony Joshua versus Deontay? How can they order Anthony Joshua versus Deontay Wilder or Anthony Joshua versus Tyson Fury, the winner, versus Anthony Joshua? Like, how can they do that? Because I seriously just seen an article that the WBC ordered that fight next. And that makes no sense when there are other mandatories there, Dillian White, Dominic Brazil, Luis Ortiz. But somehow the WBC is ordering that fight, which makes no sense. We all know the WBC has its favorites. Um, the most fam famous WBC fighter, Floyd Mayweather. Um, but the WBC was favoring Keith Thurman. They now, they're favoring Sean Porter. And who else are they favoring? Oh, Canelo Alvarez. The WBC, um, they would mandate a fight and then renege on their mandate because they like the fighter. It's disgusting by the WBC. But like I said, Anthony Joshua needs to do what Deontay Wilder did to get the Tyson Fury fight. Anthony Joshua needs to stop hiding behind Eddie Hearn and asking people to call his manager. You know who does that too? Who is starting to do that? Earl Spence Jr. Earl Spence Jr. would be like, man, if they really want that fight, call out. He's talking about Terrence Crawford. But certain reason, Earl Spence don't do that when he wants to fight the other guys in the division. He only says that to... Earl Spence only says that to Terrence Crawford. He tells Terrence Crawford to call out, but he don't tell uh, Keith Thurman or Danny Garcia or Sean Porter to call out. He only says that. <laughs> he only says that to Terrence Crawford, which is freaking ridiculous for Earl Spence to be saying some nonsense like that. I mean, you're not afraid to call these other guys out. It's the same shit we see from Anthony Joshua. He'll, he'll want to fight anybody, but when it comes to Deion, he'll tell him to uh, talk to his manager or his promoter. He said, yeah, has, have they called Eddie yet? How's they called Eddie yet? I am not aware of Deontay Wilder. He said he wanted to fight me. I'm trying to sound, I'm trying to have this uh, British accent, but it's not coming right now. But yeah, Anthony Joshua only does that when it comes to Deontay Wilder. He tells Deontay Wilder to call Eddie Hearn and make the fight. But he don't do that with anybody else. 
Man, if Anthony Joshua were to crash the Deontay Wilder versus Tyson Fury fight and call out the winner, that would be a shocker to the world. That would shock everybody. That would shock me to the utmost. I would have the utmost respect for Anthony Joshua if he were to show up to Deontay Wilder versus Tyson Fury fight. All the speculation of Anthony Joshua ducking Deontay Wilder, all the speculation of Anthony Joshua being scared of Deontay Wilder will all go out the window if Anthony Joshua was man enough to show up to this heavyweight super fight versus Deontay Wilder and uh, Tyson Fury. If Anthony Joshua were to be there, sit in front row, or even call in the fight, that would be all. But we all know that's not the case, man. That's just something we can just dream about. We all know for a fact Anthony Joshua does not want to fight the winner of Tyson Fury versus Deontay Wilder. I mean, he would love to fight a Tyson Fury because Tyson Fury is just coming back. I mean, Tyson Fury isn't where a lot of people believe he was before. I mean, this is a guy that beat Vladimir Klitschko pretty easily. But can he do that to Deontay Wilder, who's much younger and I'm not going to say smarter, but more aggressive. We seen Klitschko fade as he got older. He wasn't as aggressive as he used to be when he, in his younger days. Deontay Wilder is super aggressive. You watch one fight of Deontay Wilder, the guy is swinging for the fences. Yes, you could call him wild, but he's trying to take your head off. So those wild punches that he's throwing, he's throwing those punches with intentions to kill you. He's not throwing those punches just throwing. He's throwing those punches hoping if one hits you, it's lights out. I'm not going to say hoping because he's very accurate. Uh, we see him laying these shots time and time on all his opponents. That's why he's knocked out everybody he's ever fought. So he's very accurate, very precise. But with that being said, I got Deontay Wilder knocking out Tyson Fury. If I had to predict this fight, I'd say he knock out Tyson Fury. Mid-rounds, i say eight to nine rounds. Uh, yeah, around eight, nine. He'll knock out Tyson Fury. Because this fight is not going to the distance. Tyson Fury, he's fought two guys since he's been back. The two guys he's fought since he's been back hasn't really proved anything. Those guys were not world-class fighters. You understand what I'm saying? They were not world-class fighter. They were journeymen or guys people fight when they're a prospect, up-and-coming prospect. No, if nobody knew who Sefer Seferi is or Pinata, Pinata, whatever you want to call that guy. I don't think Tyson Fury beats Deontay Wilder. And if you believe Tyson Fury beats Deontay Wilder, then you should bet him some money. So you can lose the money for being an idiot. We all know Deontay Wilder is going to smoke Tyson Fury. I mean, it's a good fight because of the names. But at this stage... Tyson Fury doesn't stand a chance against Deontay Wilder. But it's a good step up and fight for Deontay Wilder because he added an because to the boxing world is all about names. It's all about big names. You could fight fighters, but if a lot of people don't know them, they're gonna say, oh, these guys, these guys suck because we don't know them. According to these casual boxing fans. Because they don't know a guy, they think he suck. But because they know a guy, they think he's the be oh he's the best fighter in the world. Cause we know his name. Prime example would be, let's use Terence Crawford for example. Terence Crawford fought the best guys in his weight division. The best guys meaning those those guys had the belt. He beat the best guys in his weight division. And not just in one weight division, he's done it in three weight division, and he's gonna continue to do it at welterweight. 
But somehow these casual fine boys, these Anthony Joshua fine boys, they say, oh, Terrence Crawford hasn't fought anybody. The guy has more belts than your favorite fighters. The guy became an undisputed champion, but he hasn't fought anybody. When have you fanboys, when have your favorite fighter fought the number one or number two guys in their weight division? Name your favorite fighter and tell me when your favorite fighter fought the number one or number two guys in their division. When have your favorite fighter won the, the Ring Magazine belt, the Lineal belt? When have your favorite fighter done that? When have your favorite fighter cleaned out all the top guys in their division, but he hasn't fought anybody? I think the problem here with these fake boxing fans is the fact that they don't really keep up with the sport to the extent that they don't know these guys in these lower weight classes. They only know guys starting from the welterweight division. That's where they start off at. They start off at the welterweight division and then try to go up because the guys in the lower weight classes, they don't really know like that. But because they don't know these guys, they think these guys are a bum. But I'm getting off the topic. Like I said, if Anthony Joshua can show up to Deontay Wilder versus Tyson Fury fight, I will have a whole lot of respect for Anthony Joshua. And he can get in the ring and call out Deontay Wilder for August 13. I'm at April, is it? Yeah, April 13. I will have so much respect for Anthony Joshua. That right there would elevate Anthony Joshua from everybody thinking he's a coward. Well, everybody in the USA think he's a coward. To everybody thinking, this guy's the real deal. Maybe we underestimated this guy. Maybe he is better than we thought he was. But do me a favor. Hit that like button. Hit that subscribe button. Hit that notification icon for more videos like this. And thank you for your donations. If you haven't donated yet, the link is in my description section.